This is a little overview on the High Tech Custom Concepts uh, KSG Mini Shotgun Rapid Response Rig, similar to the Cop Rigs and some other stuff you've seen, but from my knowledge, um, most of those rigs are out of stock and they don't know when they're being stock, but you can actually buy these and they'll ship them out to you, so they, they still have these. Uh, High Tech Customs makes a bunch of stuff for the KSG, but um, this would obviously work for anything. I actually have a Remington 870 and a Mossberg uh, 930, which is a 9 plus 1. Um, I guess what's different about these, I'm not familiar with the comp gear, is that this holds seven shells in each card, and you have your back cards in the back here that lay on top. They come out, lay over for your reload, which is similar, but these ones have seven shots. I don't know if... Uh, the cop rig has six or whatever. It actually kind of works out perfect with my Remington 870 in the sense that, um, or anybody's Remington 870. So you have your first shell, which you can breech load, and then you can fill your magazine tube with the six. So you get a topped off uh, shotgun uh, each time. So you can run dry, breech load, and then fill your magazine tube. Run dry, breech load, fill your magazine tube, and then go to the back. Um, what I did on my Remington 870, which is the tactical version, I kept the muzzle brake on just because, and I actually bought the factory 3-inch extension, so I have a um, 7 plus 1 configuration with my 18-inch uh, Remington 870, so it actually brings the magazine tube fully flush, and I'll do a little review on that. Uh, I'm getting some work done on my, on my bolt right now. Um, so you have your Velcro cards, you have your Velcro, IFAC, you know, whatever, first aid kit, it unvelcros, you could put another Velcro uh, field right here. Once it comes off, you can unvelcro it and stick something else there, maybe a pistol hole or whatever. It also has the Velcro admin pouch, and I just have a knife in there. So the way I have mine kind of configured is I have all my buckshot, and then I have this ammo pal with a upside down load so it would hang like this on the side of my on my uh, reload hand my weak hand and what what you do is you come in you sweep you pull out a shell and you're actually ready for your breech load and I'm le I'm a left-handed shooter so I breech load I would breech load like that so with this setup you can actually fit 10 uh, three and uh, two and three eight shells in this ammo pal um, once you get to 10, if you keep all the brass the same way, the 10th shell gets a little wonky. It wants to kind of pop out a little bit. But so the way I have it set up is I have all my all my buckshot here or whatever. And then say, you know, you're doing a class or you're running and you go, boom, slug. You reach over, pop a slug, breech load, bam, pop a slug, breech load, bam. And you can run 10 slugs with a quick single breech load um, type, uh, type of reload. And that might be a little bit faster than picking breech load, pop, feeding your magazine tube. You can actually pull it, breech tube, bang, pull it, breech load, bang, pull it, breech load, bang, and you get an extra, extra setup here. So overall it holds uh, 42 shells here. And then I add this ammo pal, which is like 20 bucks, uh, which holds just 10. Um, it's got these nice clips that are kind of, uh, they pop in and out so you can adjust them. This is my badass Glycine Airman Double 12, if anybody is looking at it and wondering. Automatic Swiss made watch thing is badass. So that's my Glycine Double 12 Airman Automatic Swiss watch. Um, so yeah, that's the quick little overview. I'll do a little... Uh, I'll do a little quick video of what it looks like while you're wearing it. And you can see how the ammo pal kind of sits on the side. It just uh, clips in. Nice little clips, no big deal. So this is uh, what it looks like wearing. It essentially is just like the SOE gear, only you can actually buy them. Um, I probably would have got an SOE gear one. Um, and that's how the ammo pal sits. So I'm a left-handed shooter, so this is my weekend. This is what I actually have to slide with. And essentially, like I was saying, you can run your shells, and then here you can pull breech load, 
bang, pull, breech load, bang, and you're gonna get 10 extra uh, slugs or whatever you'd like to use in there. You could put whatever you want. You could put extra buckshot, but I figured I could run all slugs here and you know whatever on my uh, whatever on my um, side saddle. But then you could actually get an extra 10 slugs right off the bat, and I know that this is all slugs. And uh, it works upside down, right side up, belt, molly webs, um, and uh, kind of a cool little cool little thing to kind of have right here. It's not really in the way of anything. Um, if I had a pistol, I would transition pistol here. Um, and whatever it might, and it's high enough up that it probably wouldn't get in the way of mags or anything like that, but you would, you know, you can run your mags a different way if you wanted to, but yeah, there's a quick little, uh, shotgun rig and uh that's where i have the knife just pulls out it's a tops cheetah xl and the sheath is just in there with a little bit of velcro and just pops right down there um hopefully not big enough to really hurt you if you fell but it probably dig into your chest a little bit more than you wanted so uh that would be something that i'm aware of but we'll we'll see we'll see how that works so i have my knife right there Boom. But this is just for someone that's looking for a shotgun rig and you know the SOE gear one is out of stock and um, they don't know when they're gonna have them it look like and so you can pick one of these up from High Tech Customs. This is in a Cryptek and they make it in black. That's essentially it. Or this is kind of Cryptek Nomad because it's got a little bit of green in it. It's uh, or yeah Cryptek, Cryptek Highlander because the Highlander has a little bit of green all the Cryptek's on the back side here. But uh, that's it. Quick little, a quick little mod here, which you know can unstrap it. No, no big deal.